Hey, what's up everyone? This video is going to be the first video in a series of videos that I will be posting regarding how technology is likely harming us. Now, we've known this for a while, but the cat's are already out of the bag. We've already opened the Pandora's box, so to speak, and there's not much we can do at this point. We've already let it happen, and technology has taken over and infiltrated into every part of our lives, and there are signals everywhere. So, But I just wanted to show this morning that I've recently noticed on many devices that are around us all the time, that we're around all the time. This is a warning that is with all TVs now. It says, warning, this product can expose you to chemicals including sterine, which is known to the state of California. Now, if it's known, as the, known to the state of California, you know it, I mean, it's not just one state that is going to cause the problem, but they apparently conducted a study there. It's known to cause cancer and bisphenol A, or BPA, which is known to cause birth defects and other reproductive harm. And you can learn more information at p65warnings.ca.gov. This is their website. It's the California Office of Environmental Hazard, Health Hazard Assessment. They've established this website to provide the general public with information on chemicals, products, and locations often associated with Proposition 65 warnings. Now, they recently come out with a proposition that forced them to put these facts onto the devices that are sold. Now, visiting this website will keep you up to date on this information. It requires businesses to provide warnings to Californians. The Californians. Okay, anyway, uh, that was from SNL. The Californians, obviously everyone else needs to know this too, but they said there's significant exposures to chemicals that cause cancer, birth defects, reproductive harm, other reproductive harm. These chemicals can be in the products that we purchase. They're in our homes, workplaces. They're on, our, on us on a daily basis and related and released. They're released into the environment at all times. And by requiring that this information be provided, Prop 65, Proposition 65 enables Californians to be to make informed decisions about their exposure to chemicals, these chemicals. Now they know we already have these devices and we we have uh, we pretty much just infiltrated it into our lives. We have our TVs, our phones, the, the cell phones, the cell towers, rat Wi-Fi routers, computers, and uh, radio waves, our devices and and our Bluetooth devices, Bluetooth headsets, speakers, computers in our uh, in f they forced computers in our in our uh, into uh, the business people's tr vehicles, and they forced computers into truck drivers' trucks, which was wrong to do. It's in the they're in the business places. I mean, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi is everywhere. As you walk in the building, you're you're surrounded by signals, GPS signals. You have to have GPS. Uh, I mean, it's just. 24-7, these signals are around you. Cell phone towers, radio broadcast. Uh, there's the emergency broadcast uh, system towers. There are landline phone signals. There are, uh, well, you know, from the... Uh, if you look at the back of the landline phone that you uh, device, the, the charger port that you put the phone into, it says can cause all of these harms, all of these harmful effects. If you look at the information on the cell phone, tablet, can cause all of these effects. The TV causes all the effects. Your Bluetooth speaker, sound system, and subwoofer, whatever. Blu-ray players, Roku's, Fire TV sticks can cause these reproductive heart issues, harms, uh, cancers, can cause, um, could cause chemi uh, chemicals that can cause these issues... Pretty much on all of our devices, computers and monitors and anything that emits a radiation or a signal. And personally, we have to have, because there's no signal in our spot, there used to be a cell tower right down the road at the holler near us. Then they suddenly got rid of that cell, they, the cell tower's there, but they shut it down. It's still blinking, it's still running. The weird thing is it seems to be further away, but it's still there. I don't know what happened there, but whether it's a shift situation or what, but... 
I'm not getting into that for this video. It's just, it's there, but it says this tower will not improve your signal. Then what's it doing there? They got rid of it. It's the same old tower. Just looks like one of those old cell phone towers. Just four little things on it. Just a birds perch on it all the time, pretty much. Just birds just land on it. That's all it does. There's no signal. None. It doesn't provide any signal. It used to. Then they shut it off. And then phones that my, like my mama used to have, and it doesn't, didn't, they, they shut the signal off for them. It was 2G. And then we had, you had to go 3G, 4G, LTE, or above. And so they shut that tower off. It doesn't even work. It's just sitting up there emitting a, emitting a radiation and blinking. That's it. And we get no signal. So now we have to have a micro cell tower from AT&T at all times turned on or we don't get signal at all here. And my phone, even, my, even with my phone being a 4G LTE, just barely gets one bar, if that. Then it got nothing. I used an app to report it. I got nothing. But I had to, uh, we had to get that. And plugged it in and I had to set it up and set our phone numbers only up so we could use it. I mean, it's great that we get cell phone signal, but now you think about it, we've got a cell tower in our house that requires the other company to, uh, you know, for, so we can use our router, which is another signal form of radiation. It uses our router, and we have to plug the micro cell tower up, the AT&T micro cell tower, to that router, and it gives its cell, uh, cell signal and gives us, it converts it, to our phones gives a cell phone signal but it comes from the internet and then the uh, the fiber optics networking network cables I mean has to uh, you have to have fiber optics cables then the uh, it, it converts the internet to the router and then the cell tower converts it to cell phone signal it goes out through the internet now through the network cables and then to the companies, and then goes to the cell tower into the other person's phone or wherever you're calling, and does all of what it does after that. And it requires GPS calibration, so it has to have the GPS signal. So it's got the GPS signal, and pulling in GPS signal. There's only one spot that it gets GPS signal in the living room, and I put it, I plugged it up there. I mean, I, and I laid it there, and now we have to have that with GPS signal, cell phone signal, a cell tower. A micro cell tower in our house. So imagine the radiation from that. Imagine that. And then the router itself, the Chromecast device, the uh, all of, I mean, think about it. The TVs, smart TV signal, the, uh, the, 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 the VCR even emits a radiation because it interferes with the TV signal. When I turn the VCR on, the Sanyo VCR and uh, the VCR DVD player, on the signal from it shuts off the other TV antenna signal so that emits a radiation all the way into the other room all these devices around us all the time and then we use these headsets and Bluetooth earbuds and headphones how easy would it be for them to emit a signal or some kind of mind control or message even through Bluetooth the Bluetooth headsets that we keep on all the time or these earbuds and headphones I mean just think about it and the radiation, these 5G towers, the death towers, as I've called them for a long time, I mean, it's uh, just something to think about. And then people started talking about the Georgia Guidestones and stuff, and how it, but I don't, I'm not getting into that for this video, but I'm just talking about the harmful signals from everything. This is just a kind of a, a beginning tidbit about that. Proposition 65 tells that the list uh, must be updated at least once a year. Has grown included a proximity of there are 900 chemicals in these various devices since it was first, pub, first published in 1987. Proposition 65 law, November 1986, when California voters approved it by a 63 to 37 percent margin. The official name of a Proposition 65 is the Safe Drinking Water and Toxic Enforcement Act of 1986. So think about all the chemicals. And all of the radiation and signals from Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cell phone, GPS, the radiation, our microwaves. We use the microwave. Electricity is even a frequency. The electricity in your home. Our smart lights, the smart bulbs. 
uh, the smart sockets that I've set up several for convenience purposes. And I mean it that's it's very helpful. I've set up a few a few smart sockets and several smart lights, Mercury mainly in smart life, but just think about it. The signal and radiation from everything. I've thought about it before, but I just decided to make a video about it. I'll think about what I'm going to title this here in a moment. So give me your thoughts on this. We pretty much requ required to have a phone on us all the time. I went into Pizza Hut and another place, and I've gone into Papa John's, and they both, well, they'll say, what's your phone number? And I'm like, well, I mean, I don't get signal here anyway, so I said, I might as well, what's your phone number? And they were just like, I said, okay, uh, and they said, they said, uh, you just have to give a phone number. So, I mean, I had to sign up to the deals before I ever even, then I had to sign up to the deals later before I ever got the price. Otherwise, it was outrageous, double the price for a pizza if I didn't, if I, if I wasn't signed up to their app and their service. So I said, surely I don't have to order it online for this. And they said, no, no, just, and that's the second time. But the first time I went in there, they were like, give your phone number, give your name. Okay, this is your name. Okay. They said, we just needed the name and phone number. Just have your information. What if you're buying a pizza for someone or a homeless person? You gave them the money and went in there and they went in there and got a pizza or something. I mean, it's crazy. They said, we just need a random phone number. We just need a phone number. And it matched my name. And they were like, okay. I mean, it's gotten ridiculous with what you have to give just to get food a lot of times. But, or get the prices, the perks that come with giving your phone number linked with the app and the service. But anyway... Yeah, they've got us pegged. Hook, line, and sinker, We've everyone fell for it. They've got us pegged, and the internet and Wi-Fi and everything is... All of these signals all around us, and harmful radiation and everything. There are negative side effects to it. I'm wondering if that's what causes a lot of our major side effects. I know both my mama and I do get pains and sharp pains from these devices. When my mama holds a tablet or phone, it causes pain in her sh sharp pains in her hands, in her arms, her body... She gets sharp pains around my tablet, around my, uh, any tablets or phones, or anything. They hurt her. They harm her. So I know they, and they, they did the same thing for me for a long time. And they sometimes do, especially when I'm going through those certain symptoms. They really do. So I know that they cause effects. I mean, we use buttons for our vehicles, and, or to lock and unlock. I mean, that's a signal. The, the radios in our vehicles a signal. Everything, the electronic parts in them, even if they're from 2001 and 2002 like ours, but still, just a thought, thought I'd share this, peace and much love, give me your thoughts, um, and uh, thanks for the comments and everything, I hope YouTube lets everyone see this video, I know a lot's been going on where it seems they're restricting the views or and comments will disappear or subscribers will not show up or they'll have to resubscribe to my channel and all kinds of craziness, so hopefully... Hopefully, all remains all right. So, I just thought I'd share this. I thought this information needed to be shared. You probably already know about it, but I just want to show the warning that's on our devices, telling us that it can cause all of these issues from the uh, these health hazards. Exposures to over 900 chemicals listed in these devices and, and radiation and signals that cause cancer and birth defects, reproductive harm, and issues in our biological system. So, and we have to have a cell, micro cell tower in the house, but we don't get paid for it. Heck, we should have a cell tower. If we had a cell tower on our property, you could get paid for it. <laughs> Might as well, because the signals are everywhere now. But, yeah. At least they'll pay you for that, but they won't pay you for the micro cell tower we have for us. I know with other companies, you, other, you have to let other people use it. But with AT&T, at least, I signed up our numbers and that was it. But it's another radiation signal, another signal, like the router and every device we have. So they're surrounding us all the time. Just look at the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth around you when, you when you're going anywhere. It's everywhere. But anyway, peace, much love, give your thoughts. Bye.